Hello, good morning and welcome to today's upload. We are decorating Ethan's bedroom. I'm hoping that we're gonna get it finished during this video. Um, there is a desk that we want when the shops are open again, or we're not that we want, we're gonna look for. So we'll have the same desk. Um, obviously you can't get bits and pieces. I've ordered a couple from small shops, um, from Etsy. Um, so it's gonna be a Harry Potter theme. If you go back to a couple of videos, you'll see my little girl had a kind of stitch tweeny bedroom. So this is for my little boy. And um, before I had a shower, I, um, did a little tour of them so you could see how it was. So that's where this video starts, the little tour of the room, and then we'll carry on. And hopefully, we're gonna do the painting today, um, and then probably finish off tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, I'll spend all afternoon uh, trying to make it Harry Potter. -y. It's not gonna be like Gryffindor wallpaper or Hufflepuff paint because I know that my kids will change their mind very quickly um, So it's just kind of like touches of Harry Potter like Erin's with touches of stitch and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out So enjoy the video So this is Ethan's bedroom as it is we've got his Harry Potter Hall of Flame. We've got his things on his door um, I've laid his clothes out what he's wearing today He's got a bunk bed this is gonna be the problem to paint behind. <laughs> he's got a bunk bed with Batman sheets on. Um, he's got these boxes underneath, which are actually something similar that I'm looking for Erin's room. He's got these, which are really cool with some books in. A million <laughs> soft toys that need to go. So he will be going through those. He's got his Sum Sums, Batman thing. Um, his Disney thing. So all of this will come down. I think I'll probably keep the shelves where they are and we'll put some different bits and pieces on. He's got a little set of drawers, his fancy dress boxes, this cupboard and I think what Stephen is going to do is just paint around the cupboard because it's really heavy. <laughs> these two frames and actually, oh I'm excited, I think I'm going to get these frames moved across. Yeah, I'm going to get these frames moved so it's in, rather than being in the middle of the wall it's in the middle of that section. Well, that's excited me for some reason. I'm gonna take these down and replace them with the Harry Potter lightning bolts, you know, his little scar. Those clouds hopefully will go back up. I don't know how that will work, because I don't know if we pull them off, the sticky stuff will come off, but I really like those clouds. Oh, and what I could do with the clouds is I could have like a little lightning bolt coming out and we'll put some, maybe Harry Potter Lego. We'll put some different pictures here. We are going to get him a different desk. Um, he'll have more of a grown up desk, but obviously we can't do that at the moment. So we're just gonna have to put this one back. All this will be tidied up. Stephen is, might put these back and I think he's gonna put them higher. So we can, when we have, or maybe I'll get them to put him here. When he has his normal desk, they'll be at the right length for him, height for him. Um, that print we'll probably keep because that's, um, and that was that was from Auntie Claire for his christening. His little bunting, he's got his bunting. He wants to keep that print because he thinks it's funny because um, he just thinks it's funny. But that one will probably go. I'm just gonna have a good sort out really. Uh, these prints, we will go through and put different things in. Um, just some different pictures. That, that'll probably go in his memory box. And um, I'll see if he still wants his blobfish picture. The Batman picture will probably go. So it's not too bad, um, but it's just gonna be moving the bunk bed to paint. It's gonna be the hard bit really. And obviously there's not much room to maneuver around. Those, I think we'll get all those down and I'm gonna clean them all. Cause they've been up there and see if he still wants to play. And if he doesn't want to, keep any of the Imaginex, then we'll we'll send those to the charity shop when when they're open again. And those are probably things that can go in memory box. So yeah. Right, I am going to have a shower and get ready for the day and then get cracking on with this. We've got Harry, new Harry Potter duvets. We've got a new Harry Potter lamp. We've got some Harry Potter bunting. 
I've got Harry Potter mug. We're going to get the Harry Potter Lego out. We've got the, the zigzags. I'll probably, I'm going to change some of the prints up. So, we've got enough to be going on. So, I'm really excited. Yay! Also, we're going to keep this rug and this. I might put this rug goes in the washing machine, you know. Maybe I might put that in the washing machine. As... Should we see what it says? This is for him later. It goes. Does it go in the washing machine? Or have I invented that in my head? I'll have a look. I'm sure I got it from Dunelm. And I'm sure it goes in the washing machine. So it might be a good opportunity to give that a wash as well. And the black curtains are fine. Ooh. I shall research. Okay, so the boys are taking... Oh, we're taking the stars down. Oh, Erin's taking the stars down. Are we taking the stars down then? Yeah. <laughs> I presume. Are you painting the ceiling as well? Oh, fancy. Okay, where's Ethan? Downstairs. Ethan! Right, Ethan, could you get the pink box from Erin's room, please? <laughs> you look so confused. I'm going to go through this bit and this, and I'm going to do keep memory box rubbish charity and erin do you know what i think i'm going to get you to do what? could you go through all these pots and make them all nice and tidy what? with the pens and stuff yeah okay ethan oh my what we're going to do first of all is this little section here and we're going to go through like keep memory box um and then if you want to donate anything but i think there'll be not much to donate from here okay ready yeah this <laughs> this one not quite so good at streamlining, are you, Doodle? But that's okay. So we have Keith <laughs> <laughs> and we have Donate. So we got rid of some things. I normally, didn't we? I normally only do nothing. Yeah. I so we did go with some. So high five. We're going to deflate the SpongeBob and Patrick and keep them in the shed because I think they're actually quite fun. Right, Steve, shall we, when you've deflated SpongeBob's head, <coughs> should we get those down and go through what he wants? to keep and donate from the Imaginex stuff. Yeah. yeah. Ethy? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. We have Operation Clean the Imaginex going on in here. So we're gonna give all these a really good clean and then you're gonna play with them, aren't you, Eve? I think. Yeah. He's gonna play with them and then Daddy's cleaning on top of the wardrobe because it was disgusting. So these are very dusty, they need a really good clean. <laughs> um, but luckily mine too really like cleaning. So, that's very, very good news. Okay, and then uh, it's nice and clear. So the shelves are going to come down. Steve's going to fill in all the holes. Um, I don't know how you're going to get them off the wall, but we will see. And then, can we just leave these in the middle? Can you paint around them still or not? We're back on the bed. We've got new sheets and stuff to put on the bed, though. You're just going to shove them on the bed and then take them off and put them on nice. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, this drawer has got all his um, characters in. Top of the heads. And this drawer has got all his Imaginex toys in that he likes. And this one, oops, is miscellaneous stationery. So I'm going to go through this while they're cleaning in the other room. Bit of a disaster. The clouds came off and so did a bit of the wall. Which is a shame, um, but Stephen's going to fill it in. He's got to fill the holes in anyway, so. Uh, yeah. We use super glue. Don't do that. Erin's room is obviously bigger, so we are having to go in into the corridor. All this stuff, and then the, the kids are just going to play with Imaginex in here. Erin's still cleaning. I need to get the stuff off this. Yeah, Erin's still cleaning that. It doesn't matter too much, dude. I got and then Ethan's going to play magic, I think. And you're going to do some dancing a bit, aren't you, Ez? Yeah. But yeah, what time's that? 12.45, so you've got an hour. So The room has been painted, and I'm going through Ethan's little library here. Um, books that I want to, like, display that I know he's his favourite. Stuff for the memory box. And then there's stuff that is for really y young kids that I'm going to send to the donate box. Um... And these I'm going to give to Erin because I think she'd quite like to read those. And yes, that is a Gary Barlow doll. So I'm going to try and make this a little bit better. Uh, there's some really like young kid books. And we need to, I think I perhaps need to invest in some more books for Ethan. Get him excited in reading. Stephen's putting the kids to bed. 
So I thought I would try and make Ethan a Harry Potter print. I had a look through some Harry Potter quotes. I apologise, I don't know Harry Potter quotes off the top of my head. Um, and whilst a lot of them are like inspirational, that's, you know, motivational, like he's only seven, so he doesn't need like any like out of the darkness or whatever. So I really like the I sol solemnly swear that I am up to no good, which suits little Ethan fine and then maybe as he gets older I can change them. So I'm gonna try and make a poster with that. So I sol sol solemnly, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. What does that sound right? You know what I mean. Solemnly, solemnly, <laughs> solemnly. I swear that I'm up to no good. So I'm gonna try and do that. I'm doing it on Pink Monkey again. I'm gonna have a little look. Actually, sure, you can, can have a look with me. I'm gonna have a look if they have got some. Um, where are the themes? Photos, graphics. Should we see if they've got any like wizard wizards? I know they have. I know they have brew. They used to have broomsticks. Um. Oh, big bum! They haven't got broomsticks. They've got like a lightning. Lightning bolt might be quite good. I'll have a little look through. It. See, that's quite a good one, isn't it? Um. To represent like Harry's scar. Uh, yeah, that is quite a good one. If I do it at the right angle, let's have a look. These are the nerdy things that I do. Let's have a look. I'm now looking at Harry Potter's scar. Yeah, if I did it at, at that angle, so I turned it round a little bit, that might be quite good. And also, footprints. Foot. Foot. Oh, no footprints. <coughs> Bless me. Right, I'll have a little crack and I'll show you. Here we go. I think it looks really nice. Um, I'm going to put this one in the frame, but our black ink is not very black at the moment. In real life, it looks a bit lighter than black. It looks dark on the camera. So I'll put it in the frame and then when we get the black ink, I'll print it off again. But I think that looks quite cute. Erin's impressed, aren't you, Erz? Yeah. Yay! So, that'll be another thing to put tomorrow. Oh, sink's going mad. That'll be another thing to put tomorrow. Can you leave us any sunflower, how we look after the <laughs> things? Because they've grown really well. Now what do we do? Do we put them in a bigger pot? Do we put them in the garden? Let us know in the comments. Okay, I'm putting on the um, little transfer thingies. If you search online, uh, kids bedrooms decals you will get all sorts of things I wanted these to be like the Harry Potter scar they're not guys it's back to front it's fine uh, we've got this Ethan chose like a a shiny silvery one and also a black one so we're gonna do this wall here I might see if I can do this wall as well we'll see we have got the clouds going back so I might do them coming from the clouds but we'll see um, I have got quite a lot of these and um, I ordered two sheets so yeah, Google kids decals, uh, bedroom decals, and there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Okay, so it's starting to take shape. I mean, the rest of the room is a mess. Um, but I've put on the decals, um, and I've put this over here. These clouds are really old from Hamer, and they did tear the wall apart, but we've put them back up because we love them anyway. So I've got this little cloud with some um, Harry Potter Lego, a little Harry Potter mug with a plant in, the print I made, and then here we've got the print I got off Etsy. Um, this was from Argos. My friend Mel made this for Ethan where, for his christening. A little picture of Ethan on a broomstick and a wand I was sent. I think it's one of the baddies' wands, but it is a wand nonetheless. Um, so I'm now going to clean all this up, bit up and I'm going to put up this and some photos of his family that he liked. I've come down to a very dark office. Um, we are, Ethan used to have pen pots that were like screwed and something that hung off the wall, but because we planned to get him a, new, a proper desk, 
before the end of the year. We're not going to do that. So I'm going to just use the pots, but I'm going to replenish them because he's not got much great stuff in there, to be honest. I'm going to replenish them. I've come to the office because I've got loads of pencils and all stuff down here. Um, but when I was here earlier getting with the bits and pieces for the room, this is the first time, apart from Blobfish, <laughs> I don't know if any of you follow me on Instagram, Ethan loves Blobfish. This is the first time that Ethan's like, Embra really embrace something and maybe it's because he's seven and I don't know he just really has embraced this so it's just made me so excited to go to Universal Studios to go to the Harry Potter tour um he, ha he has been when he was little but I'm really looking forward to that I'm looking forward to to going somewhere where he really loves it like he loves Disney World he really loves going to um this will make you giggle he likes going to Premier Inns he likes going to like a hotel for a little bit. I can see the dogs just run out. She's looking at me through the office because she's like, I've got out of the house. She can see me. Let me just go and put the dog back in. I cannot be doing with her running away. <laughs> she's back in. She's like, hang on. If I wait long enough, if I just wait here, she won't notice. I notice. I could see you. That really made me giggle. <laughs> she was like, she was like, oh, I'm gonna wait here. Um, no, it's the first time that he's like proper like something. Um, Erin's like Stitch for a few years. It's probably about the same age as Erin actually. Um, so I don't know, it's just got me excited for the future and, and being able to take in place and being able to rewatch the film and read the books and I, I like to get enthusiastic about things my kids are enthusiastic about and then it makes me feel really happy um, that we've got like a, a bond of something because I'm not the kind of mum that is good at sports or but this kind of thing I can get behind. Right, I'm going to fill, refill these pen pots. Just had Sunday lunch. I'm now going to go over the whole of the bed and um, clean it because we had this bed I think this bed's eight years old. It was in Erin's room. Now it's in Ethan's room, so I'm gonna give it a really good clean. It's just really grubby. I, if I maybe, I don't know, maybe I could paint it again, because it's a bit chipped, but that is not a job for now. So I'm gonna paint this. The sheets, the under sheets are in the washing machine. Dry it, well, then time we dry, dry in. We've got the duvets to put on. Erin came in and went, oh my gosh, mommy. Ethan's gonna go wild when he sees his room. So I was very pleased with that. So job, podcast, clean all this. I've got the Disney pin boards to go up there. Stephen's putting them up there. I've put the Sum Sums here. Um, and then I'm gonna give everything a really good vacuum. The sheets should be dry. I'm gonna put all those toys back and um, then do the big reveal for Ethan. I am really pleased with it, actually. Uh, I think it looks, I'm looking at it and I think it looks really nice. This bit here that you can't see well, is very beautiful and then you have the kids bit here where you've got like a fancy dress and the million of toys but that's, you can't like have a pristine room for a seven year old child can you? It's, it's, a, it's a kid's bedroom, it has to be a bit full of toys doesn't it? So we've finally finished. Um, Stephen just helped me change the bunk beds because anybody out there who's got bunk beds or any experienced bunk beds you will know how hard they are. So before we get Ethan up to have a little look, he's very excited, he's downstairs. I am going to do a little room tour. So you have to bear in mind that it's not like terribly creative, but obviously we're doing this with the no shops open and just bits and pieces that we could get where we can, a lot of stuff that we already had in the house um, and just making the most of what we've got and hopefully giving him a really nice little space that we can build on when some of the shops open like Primark where they've got the big massive Harry Potter section. So let's do a little tour. I'm gonna start with a non Harry Potter. This is like a bit of a Disney section. We have some Sums like in Erin's room. We have all of Ethan's cuddly toys. We have these are brilliant. These are from Ikea. They're really, really good. And I picked out Ethan's specific favorite books that he really, really likes. So I picked, they're not just random ones. They're actually ones that I know he really enjoys. So, um, Blobfish one, Captain Underpants, Magic Book, 
Then we have the two pins. I'm not going to say anything yet because Stephen got a bit annoyed. But look, <laughs> they're not in line. But let's not worry about that. That guitar is Stephen's when Stephen was little and Ethan just liked to play with it. These two are full of fancy dress and I've gone through and made sure that they are all the right sizes. Just got some hoodies and bits hanging off there. These, I think these might even be pre-kids. Just drawers. We've got his Imaginex stationery at the bottom. He's like resting figures. These duvets. I want to say Argos. On the other side, it says something about muggles, but I prefer this side. And then um, we've, he, he want, Ethan wanted to keep that print. We've got black curtains. We have a black rug. This bin is probably home sense, and this has got all like big plastic things in. He loves his little shop, so we kept the shop. The rug is from Denelm. I didn't put it in the washing machine. I just shook it out the window. This is Ikea. Then this is his wardrobe, and... It's like wardrobe, socks and stuff, toys, 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 toys. And then the top, we took down all of his Imaginex and we cleaned them all. The kids cleaned them all yesterday. And then we've got black lampshade. So we will be getting a bigger desk here, but just we can't at the moment. So he's got his old desk. We just put a little Harry Potter book, um, a toy from Fantastic Beasts that Erin gave me, uh, a little frame. This was from Primark and I've just put some photos up. And then we have here, we have the clouds from Hema. We've had these a long time. I don't know if they still have them. Um, as you know, no, they are super glued to our wall. <laughs> this is the print I made in a frame from, I don't know where. This Harry Potter mug my friend Mel bought me and I put a little fake Ikea plant in. And then I just got some Harry Potter Legos and I put the little what they called decals so it's like thunder if you watched my vlog you will remember that i got this from etsy i just typed in like harry potter bunting i don't know it was 15 quid or something but it's really really nice and i like the way you know i was thinking we could perhaps have like some page i don't know we'll, we'll come up with some of the stuff but this will do for now um over here we have the little print i got from etsy which says Mr. E Conway and then the cupboard under the stairs. I've just put some Harry Potter glasses, um, a Harry Potter tie, and Ethan already had this little Pop Funko of, is his name Newt? Have I made that up in my head? I don't think I have. This is from Argos, it's a lamp. My friend Mel made that. These shelves are Ikea. I presume they still do them. They're very popular. Erin's got ones that are double length in her bedroom and they are fab because we can, you know, if Ethan wants to change his room, I can peel off these. Um, oh, that one's coming off. Do you know what? I'm a bit... I'll keep you post on these ones. These ones don't seem quite as good as the, the circles I had. Uh, but we can just change the pictures. So if he grows up Harry Potter, we can put something else up. And then at the top, a picture of Ethan at Waterboarder Studios. And I want... I think I've gone through this before, but... There you go. We've hung the pens off here. We don't actually have the radiator on Nathan's room very often because my second floor is so hot all the time. So we don't, we don't have it on. So there we go. I think it looks really sweet and I'm hoping that he's going to like it. Everything's been cleaned and scrubbed and um, yeah, shall we see his reaction? Let's have a look. <laughs> look, you got the duvets. <laughs> and you've got your your bunting, your your Harry Potter bunting. Oh my god! Look over here. So you've got your picture. Have you looked? Look this. <laughs> so you got your lamp. You got your tie. Put all new pens and pencils in. We've tidied everything up. You got your glasses. You got your little pop funko. You got your wand. Look, a special wand up there. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. What's your favourite bit? Um, everything. Everything. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you like it. I like it. It's um, it's nice. You like your new duvet covers? <laughs> yes. Do you think it's good? Yes. Oh, I love you. Love you. They are waiting to FaceTime Nanny Sand so they can um, show both of their rooms. <laughs> I'm a... 
foundation's gone all funny again because we've been working so flipping hard um so there we go that's ethan's little bedroom um he's really really pleased that it's really really nice and clean everything just feels like fresh and it smells you know that kind of nice fresh painty smell so yeah it looks really nice um as i said when shops are open we we're going to get a desk which is probably going to be the same as erin's um but not with pink legs maybe like black or white or gray or something or i don't know whatever color he wants hopefully go there and then like a more grown-up chair because that table's quite little um and we are getting an ikea delivery before we went in lockdown and um, we did a massive ikea delivery and then obviously because what happened it, this is ages ago this is the money from they got from my nan um it should be coming this week i don't know how long it's taken so we've been seven like eight nine weeks not sure so hopefully it should be coming and i'm getting a wardrobe and we're getting two sets of drawers in the bedrooms <laughs> a new wardrobe in erin's room so steven's going to be able to have some of his clothes upstairs which is really good <laughs> the kids are just because it's been so you're going to find nanny sand now and show you he's bedrooms he's stroking his um pet he's stroking this <laughs> so i love you lots and i will see you for another upload in a couple of days bye guys come say bye Mama, mama. We're still in pajamas. It's three o'clock and we're still in pajamas because it's <laughs> that's what happens now. Let Ethan say bye too. Bye, bye, bye. bye. bye.